Good morning, everyone. At least it's morning here for me. I'm having my morning coffee. But I wanted to take a minute before I got started on this video. Um, many of you may know that our beautiful Chico, uh, who was 17, he passed away on July the 17th, which while I'm recording this was just a few days ago. And um, many of you have sent your love and your thoughts and your prayers. Chico was the inspiration for ChiChisandMe.com, my website. So Chico was much loved. He will be in our hearts um, forever. He left a great big hole in our hearts and our lives, and we're going to miss him very much and love him forever. But so many of you sent your love, your thoughts, your prayers, your condolences, and I want you to know how much it meant to us and to our family, and thank you, thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Thank you, guys. Pebbles has a question. Go ahead, Pebbles, ask him. Oh, she's feeling shy. Okay, so I'll ask it this time. Okay, you're okay. So Pebbles wants to know, is your chihuahua an apple head or a deer head? Do you know when people ask you that question, do you tell them what you think he or she is, but really you're not sure? Well, stay tuned because that's what this video is all about. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly beyond a shadow of a doubt if your chihuahua is an apple head or a deer head give you a hint, it's more than just the head shape. Sometimes the differences are obvious. Aren't these two just adorable? And sometimes the differences are more subtle and it can be difficult to tell. And Pebbles and I have another question for you. Is there such a thing as a pear head chihuahua? Hmm. Have you ever heard of a pearhead chihuahua? Is it for real? Think about that one, and at the end of this video, Pebbles. Pebbles will answer that question for you at the end of this video, so keep watching. Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel, Gigi's and Me Chihuahua Reality. My name is Linda, and I am mom to two beautiful chihuahuas and a cat named Lucy. I have over 17 years experience raising and training chihuahuas. I've never bred them, but I have 17 years of ex over 17 years experience raising and training chihuahuas. And I have that many years of extensive research on the chihuahua breed. And I'm here to help you and your chihuahua live the best life ever together. Okay, let's get into the video. When I got my first Chihuahua, I had no idea. I knew nothing about Chihuahuas and I had no idea whether mine was an apple head or a deer head, but I wanted to know. So I searched everywhere for information to find out how I could tell whether mine was an apple head or a deer head. I found very, very little information and what information I found was all about the head shape. And as I've already pointed out, sometimes that's pretty subtle. So most people know an apple head chihuahua is so named because the skull is rounded or domed and shaped like an apple. They usually have a shorter uh, snout or nose also. But my pebbles, her head is rounded and her nose isn't very long at all. So, you know, is she an apple head or is she a deer head chihuahua? Sometimes, as I said, it's hard to tell. With my remedy, however, it's obvious. It's pretty obvious. Her head is sloped. It's not rounded like an apple. So it's obvious that she's a deer head chihuahua. Or is she a deer head chihuahua? Hmm. We'll find out at the end of this video. The applehead chihuahua is the only type of chihuahua that is recognized and accepted by the AKC. 
and that is because the apple shape or formation of the skull is the authentic formation head skull formation of the Chihuahua breed. They're also the most commonly found. Well, I think personally that that has kind of switched. That's what some people say that the apple head is more common, but I see more deer head chihuahuas than I do apple head chihuahuas. But you tell me, what do you think? Are there, do you see more deer head than apple head or vice versa? Put it in the comments below and let me know. The deer head chihuahua obviously is named that because the head formation or the skull is shaped more like a deer's head. The skull is more sloped and the, no the muzzle or the nose is generally longer. Their bodies are also taller. Their legs are generally slimmer and longer. But make no mistake, a deer head chihuahua is still a chihuahua. They are generally preferred, so they say, by people who just want a chihuahua for a pet. Maybe that's why we see more deer head than we do apple head, or do we? I don't know, you tell me. Anyway, they're generally more preferred and they also are generally healthier and have less genetic issues than an apple head chihuahua. There's a very famous deer head chihuahua that used to be in commercials. I don't wanna give my age away, but you know, if you're not of a certain age, you may not know about it. Watch this video. Yo quiero Taco Bell. The Chihuahua in that commercial has a male voice, but he was actually she, and she was named Gidget. So now I have a quiz for you. Aren't quizzes fun? So take a look at this photo. In this photo, even if all three of these chihuahuas were an applehead chihuahua, so we're not talking about applehead or deerhead just now, which of these three chihuahua colors or coat pattern is not accepted by the AKC? They would be disqualified from dog shows even if they were an applehead because of their color or coat pattern. So is it A, B, or C? Put your answer in the comments below and Pebbles will answer that question at the end of this video. There are several more differences between an apple head and a, and a deer head chihuahua that will help you determine whether yours for sure is an apple head or deer head. Besides the apple shaped head uh, skull formation, an apple head chihuahua, their eyes are generally closer together. Their ears are shorter, their jawline is shorter, and their legs are generally shorter. Their bodies, and the bodies of an apple head chihuahua are generally longer than they are tall. A deer head, on the other hand, they are usually taller. Their legs are generally uh, slimmer and taller. Their eyes are further apart. Their jawline is longer. And according to the AKC, who are the experts after all, according to the AKC, the applehead chihuahua, besides having the shorter jawline, the slope between their muzzle or their nose and their forehead should be at a 90 degree angle. The deer head chihuahua, on the other hand, their jawline, besides their jawline being longer, the slope between their muzzle or nose and their forehead is more like a 45 degree angle. So they're disqualified. I don't have an apple head chihuahua, so I'm gonna have to show you this short clip from National Geographic's Chihuahua 101. Notice in this short clip that that chihuahua is an apple head chihuahua and you can tell not only by the rounded head, but you can tell because his legs, his or her, legs are shorter, ears are shorter, the muzzle is shorter, so it's easier to tell that that is a apple head chihuahua. So, my Remedy Jane, 
Is she a deerhead chihuahua? Actually, my remedy is a pearhead chihuahua. Have you ever heard that term? Probably not because only breeders, you would only hear that term from breeders. I'm not a breeder, but I know breeders. And the way you get a pearhead chihuahua is when you breed together an apple head with a deer head. Not always, but sometimes the result is a pearhead chihuahua. Pearhead chihuahuas are generally larger. My remedy is about 7.5 pounds, whereas most chihuahuas are six pounds or less. Of course, the AKC does not recognize the pearhead chihuahua, just like they don't recognize the deerhead chihuahua. This may not be generally the look, desired look that people are looking for when they want a chihuahua. I think my remedy is beautiful. What do you think? Pearhead and all, my remedy is a beautiful, unique chihuahua. And speaking of that, notice her coat color. She also has one blue eye. So Remedy Jane is the answer to the quiz. The one about the coat color or the coat pattern that I showed you earlier. The answer is B. The Merle Chihuahua is not accepted by the AKC even if they are an applehead chihuahua. So that is what my remedy is. She is a merle, she's a blue merle chihuahua, but my remedy is a very unique and beautiful chihuahua for two different reasons. She's a pearhead chihuahua and she is a merle chihuahua. I think she's beautiful. Would you like to know more about the merle chihuahua? They're not very common. If you'd like to know more about the Merle and all the different colors of the Chihuahua breed, the colors and the patterns, let me know in the comments below and Remedy and I will put together a video for you all about the many different colors and patterns of the Chihuahua breed. Remy and I have one more question for you. What is the rarest color you'll find in a Chihuahua, the rarest of all. Let me know again in the comments below and if we make a video about the different colors and patterns of the Chihuahua breed, Remy and I will answer that question in that video for you. Did you enjoy this video? I sure hope you did. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you think you know someone who might enjoy or benefit from this video, please by all means, share it with them. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next videos. I plan to upload a video once a week, hopefully on Wednesdays, right, Remy? We're gonna do it on Wednesdays. Stick with us on our YouTube journey. Hopefully, as I get better at recording and editing videos, my videos will get better, and we're just gonna have so much fun here, aren't we? tell them. We're going to have a lot of fun. So please stick with us. Until next Wednesday, say goodbye, Remedy.